before you at six, a story about softball, but so much more than the sport. A baby from Oklahoma born with a rare condition ended up having to have her right leg amputated. And there's a lady ball connection too. Here's our Nicole Marker. Gemma Gallman, a fifth grader living in Tuttle, Oklahoma, was born with an extremely rare condition where her tibia, ankle, and knee were all missing. The result? An amputation of her right leg at only nine months old. Although, that has not stopped her in the slightest. She's more of a, I'll show you with my actions instead of my words. In addition to starting softball at the age of four, Gemma loves to attend Oklahoma softball games. A particular player in the 2021 World Series caught her eye. As Mackenzie Donahue leaped into right field catching an almost unattainable ball, Gemma was hooked. She put a lot of effort into catching it, so it, she was really excited um, that, I don't know, that's why she really liked Mackenzie because she gave a lot of effort. Sharing the same hitting and pitching coach they were able to meet in person. Two years later, Donahue is now an infielder for the University of Tennessee. Their friendship sustained through the transfer, and Gemma and her family even got to take a trip to Knoxville to throw the first pitch at the Lady Vols game. That was so scared. My heart was racing, but it was kind of fun after. Did it help that Kinsey was catching it for you? Did it yes. help calm you down? Gemma's mom, Tamara Gallman, says her daughter is encouraging her every day. Because, you know, there's times in your life where you kind of be like, I can't do this. You know what I mean? But then I can't because I have a kid over here who I constantly tell we don't say that. We don't say we can. She speaks highly of Donahue. Despite being a busy Division One athlete, she still makes time to support Gemma. So she kind of connects with her on a different level so that she really feels like that's someone she can talk to, which is, I think is absolutely amazing. Many are amazed by the relationship between the two, but Gemma doesn't see herself as different from anyone else. Because everybody's like, oh my gosh, I'm so jealous. And I'm like, it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> The feelings are mutual, as Donahue posted a tweet about their friendship. The two will get to see each other again this weekend as Tennessee and Oklahoma both head into the College World Series in Oklahoma City. In Knoxville, Nikki Marker, WVLT News.